Welcome to my unboxing of the Allman Touchscreen Securify router that uses wireless end technology in order to achieve its routerness and its range extenderness. So what they're going for here is the most intuitive possible way to configure Sorry, I'll stop that now. Uh, the most intuitive possible way to configure your settings without a PC or a Mac. So yes, the world's first wireless touchscreen router. And it's actually a lot cooler than it even sounds, and it sounds pretty cool, so I'll get into more of that later. Secure, so you benefit from pre-configured security. Cool. And it's fast, using 300 megabit per second, 802.11 and MIMO technology on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Connect up to 50 uses at a time. Cool stuff, elegant, all your info is just a finger tap away. So let's open this up and touch on some of the obvious and less obvious advantages. So as a router, it's more for the less tech savvy crowd. I mean, that probably goes without saying because I can't imagine, you know, like the Cisco networking certified dude wanting to configure his router like this. That is just not how it works. That's not how it's gonna happen. However, for your grandma or your grandpa or your mom or your dad, this might be simpler than trying to be on the phone with me like, can you please enter 192.168.0.1 in the browser URL bar? And they're like, what? Okay, if you like push the thing on the thing, that might be easier to explain. I mean, I haven't used it yet, so I can't say for sure, but I'm definitely gonna be trying this out. Included accessories are your power cable. Okay, your ethernet cable. And we've also got a quick start guide. So apparently they only needed like one small piece of paper in order to achieve that. So Almond does a router. Okay, do this. Wow, they even, it's only four steps and it includes unplugging your old thing. Very thorough. Wait for one minute, do this. Wait for one minute, do this and follow the on-screen instructions on the start. Right, because you can just follow on-screen instructions. It has like a screen right on it. Range extender. Okay, so there's some tips and tricks for where to, oh, this is hilarious. Check this out. So there's the support number, and then under that, it says coming soon, hee <laughs> hee. Um, so, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So there's some tips for where to locate it. So even for tech savvy people, I can imagine something like this being awesome for use as a range extender because I don't know if you guys have ever done it before, but I have, whether it's a power line range extender or a wireless range extender, they're actually kind of a pain to set up because you have to authenticate them, you have to follow like the wizard on the disc, or you have to figure out how to manually configure it, and you gotta, you know, figure out how to get your wireless security going. I couldn't even get the power line one working. And I don't know if that was because I'm not using similar power line gear on my network, or if maybe I completely misunderstood what the point of the product was, but, um, now we've sort of launched off onto a tangent. This should be very easy because you can actually configure everything you need on the touchscreen itself when it comes to setting up a range extender. So the outside shell of it is actually quite slick. It follows sort of with the general trend of routers, which is to make it glossy, which is sort of a shame. But um, if it was matte, then it would be absolutely perfect in every way in terms of aesthetic. Here's a cool thing as well. Um, nope, nope, I'll talk about that later. So ventilation is handled passively, so it has little feet that it stands on so there's lots of room underneath for air to come up through the unit and then be not passively exhausted from the top. Um, in terms of ports, because of its small size, you've got your, uh, your WAN port, your internet port, and then two LAN ports. That's fine. Don't worry about it. You can always break out to a switch and then run cables to your individual PCs. You got your power in as well as your, uh, your hardware reset button. And then on what would typically be the front, there's nothing. And then on the real front, there is an LCD screen. So what's cool about the LCD screen is actually that it has the potential to do things like act as a photo viewer. Now wait, hold on. See, Slick's giving me a look right now. Linus, that's totally useless. And normally I would say, yes, that is totally useless. However, think about it in this context. What do you normally do with your router? You plug everything into it. You kind of bundle it all up and then you like hide it under your desk. What does that do to your wireless signal strength? What if your router looked nice and could sit up on your desk in a better position for wireless reception? That would be a good thing, right? So there you go. Not totally crazy and you know, I'm not just totally crazy. Uh, so let's get it uh, booted up here and just see what we can see. So you're going to be exploring with us in real time uh, what this thing's all about. So look at that, four different languages. I'm going to go with English. 
please wait. Apply in language. Wow, very responsive touchscreen, actually. I was expecting to have to, like, kind of mash on it, but uh, it's not a super cheap touchscreen or anything like that. So they wanted me to say that, you know, speeds and specs are good, but this is more for, you know, the non-tech savvy people, you know, so you won't be bothered whenever a password's forgotten. So you can you can give this to someone knowing that you're not going to be harassed about it basically later. Ah, the wizard. So, um, start wizard. Stylus is located at the bottom of your almond. No way, it comes with a style. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I didn't even notice. Bam, stylus in case you need it. Okay, so we're going to use it just for the sake of, you know, argument that we would need it. Okay, how do you want to use it? I want to use it as a range extender. Okay, let's see how easy this is. Okay, so oh, look at that. That was fast. So here's all the available. Um, so you see why wireless doesn't work in the tech tips room, guys? Because this is how many stupid wireless things are in, I believe it's this one, yeah. This is how many stupid wireless networks are uh, within range of here. There's so much interference that we can't get anything done and I totally like gleeked on the screen there, that's disgusting. Sorry, my bad. So this one doesn't have any security, however I think we can extrapolate based on how easy this process was so far that it's probably pretty similar. Let me just check my other notes for this video and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything, because yes, I do do notes, you know, I can't always remember everything. So they're going to have a weather app as well, which is kind of cool, that's coming. Um, so you shouldn't feel the need to, to tuck it away, so wireless is, uh, internet's disconnected, so it gives me some little, you know, information and whatnot, and then I just click finish. And then from there, oh, okay, okay, cool. So you can configure stuff, you can, I don't know. Oh, whoops, okay, hold on. You can, uh, what do these do? Oh, apparently nothing, okay. There's a browser? No way. Oh no, that's just uh, um, the, the thing with the diagnostics. Web admin, screen, so you can time it. Oh, you can turn it off if you want. You can put on a screen lock to protect it. Web admin to use the web interface point to browser. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, add devices. Status. Neat. Wow, you can actually do everything on here. That's cool. Let's see if there's more. Connection statistics. Firmware upgrades. Huh. Hold on a sec, guys. And I think we're kind of done here. So we're going to be taking a closer look at this on NCIX Tech Tips. But uh, there you go. It's the router that you can kind of put somewhere. And it you know, looks kind of nice and... Yeah, I'm sort of, sort of fascinated by it. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.